Hi, my name is Firefighter Jake Hull. I'm sitting inside of our pumper tanker 382, and I'm going to be reading Big Frank's Fire Truck by Leslie McGuire, illustrated by Joe Matthew. Big Frank's Fire Truck by Leslie McGuire, illustrated by Joe Matthew. It's nine o'clock on Monday morning. Big Frank is just getting to work. Big Frank is a firefighter. He works 24 hour shifts. This means that he will be on duty all day and all night. This is the firehouse. This is where Big Frank lives, sleeps, and eats while he is at work. Big Frank checks in and goes over his schedule. At 11 o'clock, he will make a fire inspection at the supermarket. At 2 o'clock, he will visit the elementary school to talk about fire safety. Big Frank has to be prepared for all kinds of emergencies, too. Who knows what will happen during his shift. The fire chief asks Big Frank to fuel up the fire trucks. Big Frank heads for the garage. Big Frank's company has three fire trucks, the hook and ladder, is used for aerial rescues. The brush breaker has four wheel drive and can go where there are no roads. Big Frank drives a pumper engine. The pumper holds water 1,000 gallons. You see all the trucks there? Big Frank is in the one on the far right. After he takes care of the engines, Big Frank checks his gear. He wears a helmet to protect his head, a fireproof coat, and pants to protect his body and sturdy boots to protect his feet. He has a wooden wedge for propping open doors and oxygen pack and mask in case the fires are very smoky. Big Frank hangs his equipment next to the pumper engine. Now he is ready for anything. Big Frank sits down with his partner Mike for a cup of coffee. Just then the fire bell rings. At the same time the lights in front of the station start flashing and the computer starts printing. Accident at the intersection of Main Street and Laurel Road, car on fire. Mike, Janet, and Gary jump in the pumper with Big Frank. Big Frank turns on the siren and heads out of the station. Woo! The fire truck roars down Main Street with the siren going, full blast. Cars pull over when they hear the noise, and a policeman waves the big red engine right through the red light. The firefighters arrive at the scene of the accident in less than four minutes. You see the police officer helping the firefighter? The first thing Big Frank does is he checks to see if anyone is hurt. He is glad that he has his paramedic training. One lady had a bad cut on her head. Big Frank bandages the cut and Mike radios for an ambulance. Meanwhile, Gary and Janet spray the burning car with special foam made for gasoline fires. The flames go out and a tow truck comes to haul the wrecked car away. Do you see them spraying the car with foam? And do you see Big Frank helping the lady? Big Frank returns to the station with the others and fills out his report. He looks at his watch. It's nearly 11 o'clock. He drives to the quick shop to make his inspection. Big Frank inspects the store's sprinkler system to make sure it is properly working. He checks the emergency doors to see if they will open in case of a fire. He also runs a test of the alarm system. The supermarket has a smoke alarm that rings in right in the fire station. Everything looks okay. Do you see Big Frank looking at the smoke detector on the stepladder? Back at the firehouse, Big Frank eats lunch with the other firefighters. Then he takes a short nap in his bunk. At 2 o'clock, Big Frank and Mike drive the pumper engine over to Nice View Elementary School. Big Frank and Mike talk to the second grade class about fire safety. Mike tells them that smoke detectors are very important. He shows them how to check their smoke detectors at home. Big Frank teaches the class to do in case of a house fire. He tells them to stay low so they won't breathe in too much smoke, and then he shows them how to stop, drop, and roll. Do you see Mike in his bunker gear? holding the fire alarm to the students. On the way back to the station, a call comes in over the radio. Brush fire at Derry Hill. 
Big Frank turns the pumper around and heads for Dairy Hill. He will he and Mike will meet the rest of the company there. Big Frank is worried. There hasn't been any rain for a long time and the wind is blowing. This could be a bad fire. Do you see Big Frank and Mike turning the fire truck around? Big Frank and Mike reach the fire a little after four o'clock. They go right to work. The spray water around the edges of the blaze to keep it from spreading. The wind blows and sparks fly through the air. When the rest of the company arrives, the fire chief tells Janet and Gary to hose down the roofs of nearby houses. That will help keep the sparks from setting the houses on fire. Do you see the chief in front of the ladder truck? He's wearing all white. At nightfall, the wind picks up speed. Suddenly, the fire goes out of control and races towards the forest. The fire is too big for one company to handle alone. Big Frank radios for help. Two more companies are on the way. Big Frank knows all the firefighters in the other companies. He has worked with them many times. Together, they make a good team. By midnight, they have saved the nearby houses from catching fire. They have headed off the blaze to the north, south, and east. But the fire is still spreading west through the trees, even though the brush breakers can't keep up. Brick Frank calls in a squad of special firefighting helicopters. Soon, they are whirring overhead. Do you see the helicopters with the searchlight and the little bag underneath of them? Inside of that bag is a special type of fire water that will help put out the fire and keep it from spreading. The firefighters battle the blaze from the ground. The helicopters drop chemicals from the air. Finally, after 14 hours, the fire begins to die out. The worst is over. Big Frank is tired. No wonder, it's nearly 6 o'clock in the morning. As soon as the next shift of firefighters arrives, Big Frank and his company head back to the firehouse. Do you see the helicopter on the right dropping water? Back at the station, Big Frank helps wash down the fire trucks. They are sooty from all the fire. Big Frank is dirty too. He has ashes all over him, even in his hair. Big Frank jumps in the shower, then he puts on clean clothes and eats a big breakfast. It's 9 o'clock on Tuesday morning. Big Frank's shift is over. Big Frank waves goodbye to the other firefighters. He can't wait to go home. He can't wait to hug Amber and Little Frank. Big Frank will have two days off to spend with his family. Then he will start another shift, fighting fires and helping everyone's family stay safe and sound. Real life firefighting doesn't differ from what Frank did today. He went and installed smoke alarms, he educated his community, and he put out a fire and saved a couple of lives. Maybe one day you too could be like Frank and save lives. Thank you for watching.